what is the purpose of a hybrid car anyway? Is there anything in it besides the marketing quirks of automakers and the pressure of the greens? Are there any advantages over, say, a small capacity and economical internal combustion engine with an advanced exhaust gas purification system? As for the issues themselves, it is clear that the main bonus should be sought in the economic and environmental fields. As an example, let's take our hero, the Lexus RX 450H, whose power plant operates according to the parallel hybrid scheme. An Atkinson Miller internal combustion engine with long open intake valves and a high compression ratio kicks in at medium speeds and above, almost never idle and avoiding the most harmful loads, where it is helped by an electric motor. Acceleration from standstill, hard acceleration, traffic jams, all this significantly increases fuel consumption and the level of harmful emissions. And it happens in places of maximum concentration of people. And it turns out that the engine, in principle, is small in volume and economical, the dynamics are not lost, because the electric motor helps, emissions are noticeably smaller and fuel consumption is lower. These are the obvious advantages of hybrids. Less obvious, but extremely important for us, can be found by examining the state of affairs in the secondary market. Not so long ago, I had a chance to talk with the owner of an 11-year-old Toyota Prius. This is interesting because the same power unit is used in the Lexus RX 450h. So, the most important thing that I heard from the Prius Sabota is that it never breaks. That is in general. Well, the gradual wear of the running gear, well, light bulbs, consumables, chips on the body, this is understandable. But, as for the engine, transmission and electrical systems, everything is incredibly reliable, requires almost no maintenance and does not lose its consumer properties even after 300,000 mileage. To find out how much battery life has fallen during operation, we tried to drive in electro mode for as long as possible. It turned out almost two and a half kilometers of ordinary country roads. The eight-year-old Lexus RX 400h, according to the owners, goes through almost four. It turns out that after our winters, maintenance, and torn urban rhythm, the battery is the most alive of all living things. Actually, this is all that potential owners of hybrid cars are afraid of but not all that they may encounter while operating the third-generation Lexus RX 450h. In addition to the unique hybrid problems, the Lexus RX 450h also has the usual, so to speak, typical for each car, associated only with the specifics of the brand and model. According to the chassis, the owners of hybrid Japanese crossovers most often complain about knocks in the rear suspension. Most likely, these are stabilizer struts. In general, penny parts, as well as their replacement, if it were not a Lexus. The original costs about 2,000 rubles, but you can find a reliable supplier for 800 rubles. Unlike purely gasoline versions, the hybrid did not have air suspension, which slightly reduces the cost of maintenance. Springs will cost 28,000 rubles per pair, shock absorbers, 10. More often than others, the upper wishbone of the rear suspension also needs to be replaced, the silent block wears out. They say it can be repaired in a workshop, but more often they change the entire lever, which is relatively inexpensive, about 6,000 for a lever and 4.5,000 for a replacement. Tapping can also come from a short support rod of the hub, which costs from 5,000 for the original. Otherwise, with the exception of the stabilizer struts, up to 150,000 kilometers the suspension does not require intervention, despite the fact that it is loaded more than usual since the battery is laid above the rear axle. The front suspension was not noted for any characteristic problems, although fans of a sharp ride more often than others complain about the wear of wheel bearings. Well, stabilizers, where without them, both can be replaced on a run of just over 50,000. The bearing will cost 3,000 for the original, and half of this amount, for example, for coil. Stabilizer struts will cost 700 to 800 rubles per item. The knock of the steering rack ends, as a rule, with the replacement of tips. It's not as expensive as it might seem, about 5,000 for a pair. The rail itself is quite reliable, but if you do not monitor the safety of the covers, then you can get a replacement, and this is almost 40,000 rubles without work. The Lexus RX 450h was equipped with an ECBT variator as a transmission. The planetary clutch that connects the front electric motor to the internal combustion engine and the starter generator also work with it. Quite a reliable design, despite the large number of nodes. There were no serial failures, no serious recall campaigns either. 
the CVT allows you to select virtual gears manually and allows the owner to decide which of the three possible modes to drive, economical, normal, or sporty. That's not counting the electric. Nothing special can be said about the engine. Despite the 450 index in the model name, a 2GR FE 3.5 liter V6 is installed under the hood of the hybrid crossover. In fact, the same as on the RX 350, except that it was derated to 249 horsepower due to a special duty cycle. The timing drive is a chain, which, when replaced, will cost 5,000 rubles. It is necessary to change the drive once every 150,000 kilometers, and it is unlikely that you will have to do this more often since the very design of a hybrid car does not allow the engine to work for wear. Questions may arise except for the injectors, due to the poor quality of the fuel. It is not easy to notice this, since the ICE has no idling, and electric motors compensate for jerks during acceleration. Until 2010, the oil supply system to the VVT system was leaking, but after replacing the composite tube with a solid one in a mass service campaign, the problem disappeared. It happens that the phase change clutch grunts. It can be replaced if annoying, or you cannot change it. Sometimes they complain about a pump leak, but this problem did not become widespread. In a word, an ordinary, boring Japanese motor that cannot please even the most curious journalist with something ugly. The most serious problem with the second generation Lexus RX hybrids was the sudden failure of the electrical part of the drive. More precisely, the burnout of the inverter of the power supply system of the electric motor generator. And it doesn't matter if this happened as a result of overheating of the power transistor switches themselves or a breakdown of the inverter cooling pump. It is important that the unit was either replaced under a warranty slash recall campaign or bought for $700 on eBay. There seems to be no such problems on the Lexus RX 450H. It seems to be because official dealers say no, but at the same time there is a service campaign for replacing inverters. The fact is that sensors have been added to the cooling system of the node that turn off the current if the load exceeds the pump's capabilities. The owner only needs to carefully monitor the supply of coolant in the expansion tank, or at least pay attention to the indicators on the instrument panel. Long before reaching the critical mode, the signal of a malfunction of the cooling system warns of danger. The inverter board itself costs a little more than 100,000 rubles, and the entire unit costs almost half a million, so you should not ignore the signal. There are two electric motors in the Lexus RX 450H. They work independently of each other, each driving its own axis. There are extremely rare cases of damage to the body of the rear electric motor, since it hangs on the side of the differential and is not covered by anything. A contract gearbox with an electric motor can be found for 40,000. The original new one is three times more expensive. The front unit, new, original and ready for installation, costs about 220,000 rubles. Approximately 150,000 costs a generator, which is also a launcher for an internal combustion engine. It is impossible to say that electric motors never fail, but failures are so rare that no specific problems have been identified. For a long time, the terrible words, hybrid battery, have not scared anyone for a long time. And at minus 36 degrees Celsius, it works, and a resource of 10 years easily survives. I mean the main power source hidden under the rear row of seats and in the trunk of the Lexus RX 450H. By the way, do not fill up the space between the first and second row of seats with luggage. There are air intakes for the cooling system and ventilation of the battery compartment. If they are blocked, the battery may overheat and go into emergency mode. The warranty period for the entire block of elements in Russia is 8 years. No frequent complaints about battery failure have been identified. However, it should be remembered that the new battery will cost the cost of the new Neva, almost half a million rubles. Hybrid Lexus at the beginning of sales were much more expensive than their conventional counterparts. They sold SOSO, although the owners quickly realized how successful their choice was. In the secondary market, there are hardly a hundred of them per country. This includes both the American versions and those officially sold with us. The cost starts from one and a half million. If you are not afraid of a hybrid in principle, you are not a retrograde, you live close to a qualified service and do not go off-road harder than half a wheel of snow, hybrid Lexus. The RX 450H will be one of the best purchases of your life. And because Lexus, and because hybrid, yes, and the transport tax on it is almost twice as low as on a regular RX, since the declared power of 249 horsepower, calculated by the internal combustion engine and not by the aggregate. In a word, 
Not a car, but a bright future.